Hi, I'm Amr, one of the co-founders of Bitto. I want to show you in detail how to use the new code review agent in your IDE so you can run it as you code and get feedback before you get to PR. Great, so let's, uh, let's dive in. I'm going to show you three things. I'm going to show you how to configure it the first time, how to run it, and then, of course, how to look at the output. So once you've got your Bitto um, ID extensions in Visual Studio Code, works the same in JetBrains, you want to make sure you're logged into the right workspace, I mean our Bitto workspace, and it says 10x developer plan because the, to run the code review agent, you do need to be on the 10x developer plan. All right, so this is our normal chat box. You can just call the code review agent. But first what you want to do is you want to create an, um, or modify the configuration. So we need your Git token. So you can click this button. It's going to ask to open it and take you to this page where you need to configure your Git token. That's really all you have to do. So if you use GitHub, GitHub Enterprise, GitLab, Bitbucket, etc. Once you put in your token, and if you look into the description of this video, we give you detailed instructions about how to get your token for GitLab, GitHub, and Bitbucket. Um, this is just reminding you that you're going to run this agent through typing slash review. Um, and then we give it a default name, code review. Uh, and if you want to have any files or folders ignored or change anything about your source or target branch to ignore, you can do that. And then you're going to hit save configuration. Just as a quick reminder, uh, we do not store your code or we do not train any AI on your code. So the Git token allows us to index your repo temporarily while the code review agent runs so that we can understand your code base better to provide a better quality code review. Once you save your configuration, the agents run to run. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type add code review here. And it's, it's updated to say it's going to use our personal default agent. So now it's kind of loaded that agent into this window. And then you're going to type slash review. and it's gonna run the code review agent on all of your local changes. You can provide it an argument like local changes or state changes. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. It gives you this little message saying the AI code review is in progress. Typically takes less than three minutes unless this is a large code change. Um, you can also see down here in the window that's saying code review, I've run it six times successfully. There's one in action right now, which is the one we just started, and zero have failed. So now that it finished running, I get this little notification here that the Bitto Code Review Agent successfully completed the review, so that'll pop up in your IDE. Um, you can click here to view the results. Also, you can see now that I have seven Code Review Agent runs that ran and none in progress. Click here to view results. Now it opens up the review. All right, so now what we can see here, interesting, so it's found an issue here. Using an empty string as a stop sequence may not have the intended effect. I can go ahead and open this in diff view so I can understand what were the changes that I had made. And I can see where I had made a change in our chat interface. And then I can see the suggestion as well. So they're suggesting we add back in, if you look at the plus sign here, add back in this Bitto Assistant. Um, and then there's another change suggested. The password input field is set to type. Again, I can open in diff view and I can see the suggestion here. So in summary, you gotta set up your code review agent in your IDE so that it can, uh, we can have access to your Git so we can index your repo and understand your code base. Um, it takes a couple minutes to run. You can run at any time and you then get the output. So you can make those changes and submit your commits for PR. All right. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoy this.